when you talk about recognition of deferred tax assets under Indian GAAP, there is a concept of reasonable certainty and virtual certainty. So, if the company is having a broad forward or carry forward losses, one need to assess that is there a virtual certainty, otherwise it is a reasonable certainty. If you talk about IFRS, it says the word which is used under IFRS for review of DTA is probable, that is called more likely than not. And the probable concept says that if there are more than 50 percent chances of sufficient taxable profit available, then deferred tax asset can be created. So, when we talk about the Indian gap, it is talking about a uh, virtual certainty or resistant identity, while under IFRS, we do change to the word of probable, which is called more likely than not. Now, coming to the business combination IFRS 3, under Indian gap, there is not a specific guidance on a date on which consideration in a business combination is to be measured. Generally, it is taken as a date of investment. For example, the company A has acquired company B, then what we look at is the date of investment is the date from which the control is passed and from that date accounting is started and Indian gap because there is a not a specific guidance on that. But when we talk about IFRS 3 business combination, it says that acquisition date is a date on which the control is passed. So, the effective control when it is passed from that date, the accounting is done under IFRS 3. So, one need to look at the acquisition date also, the date from which on which the accounting is to be done. Another issue is on about allocation of cost of business combination with our Indian accounting under ES 14 accounting for amalgamation. It says that if the company is having by its amalgamation is by nature, by nature purchase, then one has to follow purchase accounting. If the amalgamation is by the nature of merger, merger, then the pooling of interest method is followed. Under IFRS, it is only a purchase method or acquisition accounting method is to follow and at fair value. So, there is a change in business combination, a drastic change with respect to the accounting for acquisition in IFRS. Another issue is about excess of fair value. So, we are more habitual with the term of capital reserve. If A has acquired B limited and the consideration which is paid for acquisition is less than the value of assets acquired, then it turns amount to a capital reserve. So, the word which is used under Indian cap is capital reserve which is taken to balance sheet. But when, when you talk about IFRS, it says that it is a gain on bargain purchase. Differences are with respect to substance over form. Under IFRS, we have to look at a substance rather than a legal form. We will look at the what is the main nature or intention behind the form in transaction rather than the only legal form. Time value of money is considered, we are discussing about a contingent liability provisions, whether provisions is to be discounted, whether time value of money is material. Fair value options with respect to IS 16 property document, IS 38 intangible assets, they provide a fair value option, revaluation option, IS 40 means property, they provide fair value operation. This statement is there with respect to change of accounting policy and also with respect to a correction of errors. Significance of consular financial statements under Indian gap, the more stress is on a standalone or a separate financial statements. With the listed company, CBA requires consular financial statements in addition to the standard financial statements. But under IFRS, stress is on group accounting. One need to look at CFS or consular financial statements are much more important rather than the separate financial statements. Control definition is different. Uniform accounting policy, which is something very important, while consolidation. For property plan equipment, component legislation is a critical issue. Business combination, the accounting is different. We will refer to the fair value and we will refer to the purchase method, acquisition method of accounting. And segment reporting is a based on CODM approach, chief operating decision method.